Hello everyone, we are almost finished with this series. This is the fourth video. The next one will be the last. And if you didn't watch the other three, you can find a link to the playlist in the description. Start by creating a method to get the percentage. And the percentage depends on the total time. It depends if it is on the short break, the long break, or running the Pomodoro. So we can use this switch to get to the total time. In case it's running, the total time should be equal to the Pomodoro time, so 25 minutes. That we you should use the constant. So total time equals Pomodoro total time. If it's pulse, the same thing because it's pulse, but the total time is the same. Here, the short break, total time equals the short break time, that's 5 minutes. You can see here, we can copy this, and same thing when it spots. Here, it's the long break time. Same thing here, so we can copy and paste this for when it's on a pause or break. And uh, when you finish a set, it should be also the Pomodoro time, because we set this state when you finish the long break. Now we can calculate the percentage. So percentage equals the difference between the total time and the remaining time divided by the total time. And we should return it now. We can use this to display the circular percentage indicator. Let's save and run it. And you can see here, because we didn't start Pomodoro yet, it's at zero, but when we started Pomodoro, the percentage starts to count. And uh, we can change this from 25 minutes to one minute just to test it. Call the restart and start Pomodoro now. And you can see it's counting down. And now let's create the other methods. Start by creating the function to pause the Pomodoro. When the Pomodoro is running, we should pause the Pomodoro if you click on the main button. So now we can clear the pause Pomodoro countdown and create this method below. Let's create it here. And before I forget, we need to dispose the timer when the, the user leaves the screen. Because if you create multiple timers and you don't dismiss them, you can add memory leaks. So cancel timer and then you can call super dot dispose. Now we can create this pulse Pomodoro countdown. First start by changing the Pomodoro status. To 
to Faust Pomodoro. And call cancel timer. And here change the, the state. First change the main button text. To resume Pomodoro because if the Pomodoro is paused, the button should say to resume. So let's test it. It says Start Pomodoro. And if I click on it, now it changes to pause and resume. OK, and it's all working fine. Now create the method to reset Pomodoro. So reset button press. And first set the Pomodoro number to zero. Then the set number to zero as well. And cancel the timer. and stop countdown this method we are going to create it now stop countdown and here first set the Pomodoro status to pulse Pomodoro and set state here inside set state change the main button text to button text start and set the remaining time as Pomodoro total time Okay, you can see here it's one now, but uh, we, we are going to set it as 25 minutes. Let's test this. Resume Pomodoro and reset. It doesn't work yet because I forgot to pass the method to, on the press. So go here. Now pass the method on the unpress, like this. Let's test it. And if you, we press reset, it all resets. It's all working fine for now. I will finish this video here. This one was a little bit shorter, but the next one I will finish the app and also create the play sound method. So if you didn't, uh, subscribe yet don't forget to do it and uh, see you in the next video